How's it going everyone? It's Liam Carlson here with another episode of Once Upon a Time. It's episode 15 for season 6. Um, strong episode, I would say, last time. Um, especially in regards to the whole uh, Evil Queen arc that has been developing over the course of this season. And how we've essentially given her a potential chance at happiness. And um, it seems like we've closed the door on that. Um, especially uh, given the sacrifice that Regina made, um, you know, giving her a bit of that goodness, uh, as well as taking a bit of that darkness, balancing the scales. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'm hoping, I mean, personally, I'm hoping that we will, from here onwards, even in terms of flashbacks, we're not going to see any more Evil Queen content, because I feel like uh, that was a, that's a really, really nice way to conclude things. But, um, yeah, as I said as well, I'm not going to be, you know, too pressed if um, uh, that hope doesn't get realized but um yeah we also had hook who um yeah the truth came out to emma um in regards to what he did to david's um father and um yeah it, it just it just became complicated especially with hook taking off and um being on the submarine uh especially with uh, the intent that he was going to you know stay behind although then again that prick Gideon had other ideas to to get Hook out of the picture so it was like yeah it's it, I'm, I'm just really worried about what that's gonna do to Emma's mentality we'll see but um yeah excited to get into this episode so with that said it's episode number 15 of season four for once upon a time let's go that's come and tell me himself there's more Hook he left town what? Oh no. We had a big fight. That, about yeah, him see, that doesn't this, and I told him sound good ready. out Trust of context. Me, that we shouldn't talk for a while, so I guess he wasn't ready because Leroy saw him on the docks and he got on the Nautilus and just. Oh, see, that doesn't look away. good. Get in your little oh, shit. That's not possible, brother. Like hell, it isn't. Nemo just said that the Nautilus can travel between realms, but to do that requires something we don't have. Ah, we're missing components. Blood. And Gideon used the last of it. So basically, sorry, we need Gideon. to release the Kraken. <laughs> and we're today. Yourself. Oh, please, just let's go. <gasps> Where did that come from? Um, from your pocket. Oh. Hello. Wish must have put it in there. What's wrong? Oh, come on, that looks romantic. Wish. Well, that is entirely your choice. Either you marry me by sundown, or Agrabah will be destroyed. Ah, uh, and, and, and there is that integrity that she's going to adhere to. Like, he's, he's not, he's well, not marriage this. material for no, her. Makes me nervous. You can blame her. Just a he's a further. prick. Then I'll wish you free. <laughs> You need to crack its skull. Terrible. Also, oh, is um, I'm guessing Hook and Co are going to merge with. Yeah. We need a ladies' night out. Me, Emma, and Snow. Well, remember, she's in a sleeping curse. Look. She's. Oh, David's gonna be like, yeah, she's I get the drill. I mean, it is oh, ladies night. Like, just woke up. <laughs> you get a few more hours. She With any luck, we'll all get back home. What do you say, princess? Give me, like, do what hey. I say, or there's going to be a hook Nothing through your fear. throat. Basically. This time, you won't have to face him alone. Well then, perhaps Agrabah has found its hero at last. Unexpected journey, but here we go. Seriously? Would you call that a fake fight? Fake fight? I Real mean, you friends. should have known when you Don't walked into the bar. Friend. You have to stop holding everything in. Richie is so right. Have you tried these drinks? They're supposedly... We're doing this. Now I take my payment. No, no, please, no, no! <gasps> Ariel, holy shit! What a monster are you? It's been a while! Whoever she is, I don't think she's the monster. Damn! Princess Jasmine, I didn't mean I didn't. Take this. And this human prince, does he have a human army? A navy. Is that the same thing? 
That's close enough. <laughs> you're, you're, so you're not think, far off. There's a way that we can both help each other. You're not afraid of heights, are you? All of the Disney princess fans are just eating well here. Little <laughs> sorcerer, now please. I need to concentrate. Right. Yeah, right, of course. Oh, come on. Come on. Does she even say anything about me? I'm not a bloody matchmaker. <laughs> For two people in love, you Come on, Wigman. So I suggest that you spend your last few moments in prayer or contemplation, but not in conflict. Yeah, well, I he's not. I have a better not... idea. Yeah. Hey, we could wish careful, this place to. Time to be careful. Yeah, we're gonna be dead, hey, buddy. I wish for you to take us to that island. Or that. I was gonna say I wish this ship would be repaired, but, but... not today. Hey! They're leaving without pay. Do you ever not tattle? <laughs> oh my god, I love her, I love her, I love her. Oh my god. Oh my god. How about a wager? <laughs> I know you want me to open up, but I really think I'd rather be distracted, and this seems like an excellent distraction. Yeah! Not the way to play darts, usually, but... <laughs> Drugs, no. I love her. We always have to have our chaotic right. one. There's something like this. And then we're in his lair for sure. Watch out for traps. Like that one. Watch out! Ah! Ooh, that would have been nasty. What I for? Know place this is. <gasps> oh, it's aerials with the trinkets and all of that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Jasmine. Huh? Ariel. Oh. Who's Ariel? <sighs> She's taking that chance. Of course I accept you. Ah. I was bored with regular girls. <laughs> Great love for you people. Normal's boring, okay? Especially poached. Uh. With lemon and capers. No. No. <laughs> Jafar. You bastard. <laughs> Suits. Master, you Of a fish? You broke Son the genie's fish. That I did. Although. You can do this, but I don't know if I can. Time, princess. I need an answer. Here's your answer. Get fucked. Yeah. Well, what your friend is back in the sea where she belongs. You're rude. Since you won't marry me. I have no. The people of Agrabah loathe me. They spit my name, call me bastard. Yeah, and there so is that like wipe them off this uh, backstory so you that ring, so you where he's going everybody. to invoke so much hatred and violence. Yes. But a true ruler knows when the other side is bluffing. If you stayed strong, Shit. you never could have hurt Agrab. Just taken beyond mankind's grasp. I'll still say it's gonna be destroyed. How could you not see that it's practically at your fingertips? <gasps> it's in the ring. I had a feeling. Look, clubs, princess. There was a moment where I was thinking, what if it's, look. yeah. Look familiar. Ha. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Pathetic. Oh, no. That's like you said. You know I'm Jasmine of Agrabah, and now I know how to get my city back. Heck yeah. That if you watch Once Upon a Time in Wonderland, that is kinda poetic. He always said he was a survivor. I thought that meant that he would stick through things no matter what. Really what it meant was that as soon as things got tough, he just Well, she's gonna absolutely deck Gideon when Hook tells the truth. It's probably what I needed. It's probably what I need to. We need a good cry now and again. No, no, no. 
Now, now, now. I said the way to get Agrippa back is with the kind of magic that could break any curse. We're gonna do it. We're finally gonna do it. Yes. Jules kiss. Woo. It's been too. It's been long overdue. It's been long overdue. But here we are. Oh, nice. And Warner about Gideon. I'm an oyster head. I have something. I was gonna say she could help. Mermaid magic. It works across realms. We can get a signal back to Storybrooke if there's anyone there who can pick it up. A shell phone. Shell phone. Like a home. shell phone. <laughs> <laughs> a shell phone. <laughs> tables for all. I love you. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm trying to get home to you. We'll find each other. And I will never stop until I do. Now? I love you too. But at least she's got the memo. Oh. You're not Aesop, are you? You're not even a bartender. It's Gideon. It's that prick. It's you, you smug, arrogant piece of shit. Try to kill me again. It didn't turn out very What the hell do I have to do? The one thing I never could. To, to kill the Black Fairy. Kill the Black Fairy. Yeah. That's his, that's been his end game. Although that's not Emma's MO really. Killing. Killing? No. But he's been so desperate. I mean, we knew way back in episode 11 he wanted to become the savior. Even if, you know, killing the savior um, is like, yeah, it's it, it's not the way to go about it. But we know that he want, he had that vendetta against the Black Fairy. And, uh, yeah, but still an ass. Still a complete ass. Don't care. So, I, I do like um, where we're at at the minute. Like, we're obviously still several episodes out until we do conclude things for this season. But we've got some very interesting um, situations that have emerged. Obviously, with Gideon's plea to Emma, I guess. You could call it a plea. And um, Hook's predicament uh, at the minute. So, um, yeah, I do... It, 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 it's still... It, it feels like we've got a lot to do from here until the end. And, and we don't even know how we're going to end things. Uh, stuff will unravel, of course. But... Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited to explore the, you know, well, I, I guess the next few episodes of Wads, really. So, yeah, we um, obviously uh, have a very, very interesting direction in terms of where things are going to go with Gideon. Essentially, I mean, he should have just asked in the first place. I mean, yeah, killing is not exactly um, Emma's nature, but <laughs> better than just killing her and obtaining her powers or whatever your plan was so yeah go to hell about that uh, there is there is something going on though and he's using of course hook's disappearance as a really really um tasty opportunity for emma to help out but uh, we'll see how that goes but yeah really interesting stuff in terms of fulfilling jasmine's and aladdin's um, story i guess because um i was wondering when we were going to touch upon that obviously um i think the last time we saw them uh, which was around midway point um yeah, they had set their sights in terms of the whole Agrabah situation. And, I, and I'm and i not going to lie, when the ring first appeared, I was like, is it going to be in there? Like, um, you know, it's a bigger on the inside kind of <laughs> scenario. Um, so, yeah, obvious, uh, like that or, um, you know, Agrabah some t somehow underground in the Enchanted Forest. Like you've got um, on the surface the Enchanted Forest, but underground there's Agrabah. So, yeah, and they're just walking on top of it. Um, but, um, yeah, I, I, I was low-key thinking it was going to reverberate back to the ring, of course. And um, voila. So, um, but, yeah, we finally got some very um, uh, developmental stuff in terms of that department, in terms of uh, Jasmine dealing with, uh, with, with um, Jafar. Of course, when he turned into the staff i was i was just reflecting on once upon a time in wonderland um and um 
uh, you know, how he obtained the staff in the first place. And, um, uh, yeah, and we, we, we saw basically Jafar get a taste of his own medicine. So, um, yeah, uh, it's, it's been, it's been some, some time, but, um, I do feel like it's very poetic given the bullshit he, um, you know, the bullshit he, he did in, in, in that show. And then of course here, uh, especially in terms of trying to, in, in terms of manipulating uh, Jasmine as well. So, yeah, but um, it was just really, really uh, great stuff in terms of like involving uh, Killian as well into the mix. So I thought he was going to, like, we were going to have him disappear for one episode and that's it. But I, like I said, in regards to Gideon um, baiting Emma in terms of helping him, um, yeah, it's it's a good dangle on. It's a good way to dangle the carrot on the stick, really. If you want him home, basically. So, yeah, uh, it's a shame though that he was pretending to be Aesop all of this time because I feel like even if it's just a one-off appearance, Aesop, you know, it it would have been a nice little nod. Um, so yeah, and and not just that though, but of course expand the characters. So, um, cause. You know, I, I feel like with Aesop, it's it's a very, very, of course, legendary um, icon. Uh, but I do feel like um, they were kind of rehashing from what Jafar did in regards to disguising himself as Eric. And and yeah, like they, sh they should have just had that be very, very true in terms of Aesop. Um, in, in terms of like him trying to help out Emma and all of that. So yeah, but um, it is what it is. So yeah. Um, though I do gotta say, I really, really, I mean, here's the thing though, as much as I did enjoy the kind of girls night out thing with Regina, Snow, and, and I love drunk snow, just, just putting it out there. Uh, I feel like Emma should have had a, had an inkling that something was amiss. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like there should have been some kind of, uh, way for, for Emma to kind of figure stuff out in a sense. So, um, yeah. Um, so, but I can also understand why she was feeling a bit done in, uh, because, um, those abandonment, uh, those abandonment issues, I even reflected it in the last episode, they're going to keep come creeping up. And this is the big one. Uh, this was someone who, you know, days ago she said yes to, in terms of the whole engagement. And then the truth comes out. We saw David's reaction to it. So, hoy. um, but the truth came out and, um, yeah, he bolted, so... Um... Yeah. I do feel like they should have um, accounted for the possibility shenanigans was going to arise. So... Um... Although that's <clears throat> that's my two cents on the whole matter, but... Um... Because I feel like there should have been some kind of acknowledgement, like, what, would, would he just bolt like that? Like, just be like, well, I'm out of here. I'm out of this town. Uh, my deep, dark secret has been exposed. It wasn't even that dark as well. Like, um, obviously it is a bit of a, um, it, it is a bit of a bummer, I guess you could say, in regards to him killing David's father. But obviously we know he's a completely different person um, today. And it would be one of those difficult pills to swallow in like in terms of like clearing the air but it's not like um this is going to define him for the rest of his life and all of that so yeah and uh like yeah even i said if regina has done some heinous shit in the past and um right now we're having a girls night out then i'm sure we can just move forward in regards to what happened to her so i feel like um there should have been some kind of way to figure out, okay, maybe something is off here. So, yeah, but... Um, still, I really, really enjoyed, uh, of course, the whole um, Agrabah situation, that little plot that was happening, and uh, not just in terms of trying to find, you know, what the deal was with Agrabah and, and all of that, but also in terms of, like, delving into the themes of that fear and, and whatnot, um, because obviously with... Um, there, there was about a fear in regards to Jasmine. So, um, and 
with what happened there was a there was there was like she, i do like the fact that she does have such a strong character about her but it's okay to also maintain that level of fear like especially in regards to um what happened to 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 this town and all of that so um but thankfully like she didn't have to be alone all uh, this time she had of course uh, um, company with her and um, not just that, though, but even with that bout of uh, confidence and having the people with with her, um, she was all on her own, really, in regards to... Because um, uh, everyone was out for the count. She was all in, on her own when she confronted um, um, Jafar. And uh, it was... It, it took a lot of courage. Like, she, she was reminded of that past, of course, and um, yeah... So she managed to stand up for, her, uh, for herself and uh, it was, yeah, really, really um, great stuff to, to, like I said, give Jafar a taste of his own medicine, really. Um, so um, I'm going to have to look, because the name has gone out of uh, my head in regards to um, who he turned into the staff. Um, let me let me look let me look i'll get there i'll get there <laughs> um but yeah it was amara i think it was amara there you go so yeah when he turned amara into into the iconic staff that he had it's kind of like a bit of a taste of his own medicine so yeah i knew it was it, i knew it began with an a but yeah it just blanked out my head so yeah but um yeah um you could say that little bit of courage as well in regards to Emma. Um, like, like it, it could hit Emma as well. Like, because obviously uh, that finding your courage thing was a, um, a, a bit of a, a bit of a um, fundamental aspect in terms of the whole Agrabah situation. But um, I guess it was for Emma in regards to um getting hooked back here she thought that okay well this is another case of someone just being associated with me being attached with me even and then just b bailing so yeah but gideon i don't trust i don't trust what he's got cooked up so um yeah i feel like there's going to be a bit uh, there's going to be a huge gut punch in regards to um obviously what gideon seeks but at the same time, it's not uncharacteristic that uh, obviously he has such a high vendetta against the Black Fairy. He's been preaching about dealing with her for some time, um, but he's gone to extreme lengths in terms of trying to 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 fulfill his his journey. Um, so we'll see what what does happen. But yeah, it was um, it was just really really great as well as bringing back Ariel as well and I, I, I there is just something so great about Ariel and Jasmine teaming up of course um, so yeah I really really loved of course their team up that we saw in this episode um, and um, yeah it, it was just really really great to incorporate uh, her into things because uh, you know you do miss her like she does appear every now and again and you do kind of miss her so um it, it is great when you have those little moments of her uh, emerging um so yeah but yeah um although i was i was thinking could because um obviously there's the issue with killian being stranded i was thinking um I'm, I'm sure there was a situation although that might just be me um um making things up in my head or whatever but i was sure like could ariel like take him between realms or whatever because i feel like that could have um been benef uh, beneficial for for killian so um but hey ho um yeah i'm looking forward to seeing where things will go but i did like the fact that we did um, um seemingly reach the um i guess big point for four jasmine and aladdin's story because obviously the whole agribar situation was a very very uh, important factor for them this season um as well as the whole savior thing but um obviously like i said that was a very uh, important factor and um yeah we found out what happened we found out where agribar was and um, not just that though 
but um, we finally got that kiss because I was like, uh, like especially, I think it was very early on in the season as well. I was like, are these two gonna kiss or what? And finally, we had it. So it was all leading to this big moment. So, yeah. um, but yeah, really, really great stuff. And uh, yeah, excited to see what's gonna happen. Uh, with the whole dealing with the Black Fairy shebang. And uh, yeah, um, I'm not sh like, because obviously she's a very, very powerful character. So one has to assume she might be maybe, maybe, I don't know, the big bad for, because, um, you know, Jafar was brought in. I thought, okay, he's going to have some kind of influence, surely, as the main antagonist, of the evil queen. Heck. Jekyll, and, well, the whole Jekyll and Hyde thing, and they were written off within a few episodes, which I'm still upset by, mainly because of Sam Witwer, because he's an incredible actor. Um, so I'm wondering if we're going to be dealing with, um, uh, if she's going to be like the end game for this season. Um, maybe, potentially, but we'll just have to wait and see. But um, yeah, pretty neat stuff. So I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care and I'll see you guys next time. Toodles!